we've still got $2,100 in the bank so far for our three degree guaranteed charity this month, the Cramden Institute. And as we've told you all month long, the Cramden Institute collects old or surplus computers from homes and businesses and donates them to those in need. Our own Lance Blocker visited them this week to see how they do it. How many like right angles? Cramden was started in 2003 by father and son Mark and Ned, whose names spelled backwards as Cramden. Uh, they refurbished the computer and gave it to some of uh, Ned's classmates. Ned's idea to provide computers to classmates in need really took off, and only nine months later, 50 personal computers had been donated and restored for families at a school. In the 19 years, we've been able to give 47,000 computers to 84 counties across North Carolina. All of the restored computers Cramden gives away are donated from people and businesses. The technology can enable an entire family, not just the recipient, but the kids, the grandparents, to be able to connect over a piece of technology. Cramden was off to a consistent start. Then in March of 2020, as COVID-19 spread across the country, schools resorted to online learning, which forced many lower income families into a difficult predicament without computers at home. When uh, when the school started going to remote learning, um, we immediately started getting calls. We were getting hundreds of calls a day, if not thousands of calls a day. Um, and we basically started prepping everything we had at the time. In the end, Cramden distributed thousands of computers throughout the pandemic, but the demand remains. So over here you see peripherals. We sometimes have to buy things, but often a lot of things are donated. Um, here you'll see all of the different power cords. Definitely, we're brand agnostic. We're very, very happy to have uh, all different kinds of donations. So working or not, we're happy to take your, do your equipment donations. We have all the details on our website at CBS17.com for individuals who would like to donate their used computers. For CBS17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker. All right, Lance, hey, such a need that a lot of us don't think about. And if you have some old devices piling up, you can drop them off on West Chase Boulevard next Friday, October 7th. There will be signs directing you to that exact drop-off location. You can drop off old computers, laptops, monitors, or tablets from 10 to 2. That's next Friday, guys. All right, Wes, thanks.